Well, hello everybody and welcome to my life, my travel, my adventures. I thought I was making a video earlier and the camera wasn't even on, and so now I know why I kept flipping off. But anyway, I'm on Fort Knox again. Heading out to the lake just to fish a little bit. Only an hour or two. And try a little experimental fishing. The goal today is to try to catch big carp. To try. Using a few tricks I picked up when I was in uh, Germany, the way they do it. So uh, I bought some chum, some corn, and other stuff that I'm going to mix up. And put it in a ball in what's called a chum basket or a little chum bucket. And it kind of, when it hits the water, it kind of dissolves and makes a pile of food. And hopefully, Mr. Carp comes over and sucks it all up, including the hook, not the bucket. So, the ingredients for the chum is basically going to be the chum itself. Uh, cream style corn, whole corn, um, vanilla sugar, vanilla flavored sugar, picked that up in Germany, vanilla extract, yes, those are, that will be the main ingredients for the chum, because, believe it or not, fish love things that are sweet. And cut a lot of, uh, cut everything on that. I used to fish with just, I would just take corn, put some um, the uh, vanilla flavored sugar in it, a little vanilla extract, let it sit for a little while and get all sweet and stuff and fish with it, catch trout, everything on there. And, and, and even cut uh, a big walleye on it. I couldn't believe it. But I still think the walleye was probably going for the smaller fish and hit the hook. But anyway, caught walleye on it. And carp. I haven't tried that yet here in the States. So, and I'm going to a spot that I have a lot of room to cast. So I am here now, and nobody is there. I haven't been fishing in a while because, frankly, I haven't been feeling that good either, but feeling better now, so maybe it's the pains of the too much deployment. Lots of moss. Let me check out the water. Maybe too much grass here. But we are here. So, let me remove the phone. So, be back. We're going to attempt a little carp fishing today. I bought some chum. Bought a couple different kinds, so I'm going to use up the one I purchased in Germany already started using it so I'm gonna try to catch carp today that is the goal carp fishing so what we're gonna start out with is some whole corn I'm gonna dump that in the bucket. Have to go get another bag. So we throw a little cream corn in there. That is good. And uh, yes, a little vanilla extract. a lot 
lot of that. And one thing I need to grab again. Our last ingredient is some vanilla flavored sugar straight from Germany. You can't buy this. You can't buy this here in the States. Fish loves something sweet. So mix this up. Consistency is basically how you want it a little wetter, a little drier. I want to put it in a chum spring so it dissolves in the water. If I needed to use some more liquid, I usually take the pond water or some bottled water. Something that won't interfere with the vanilla taste that I'm trying to lure the fish in with. <clears throat> And seems like those two cans of corn, because that wasn't really a full bag of chum, but those two bags appear to be enough for what I want. Yes. So, I'm going to just fill up this little bucket here and the corn I'm gonna put on the hook itself it's just gonna lay there but it all has the same smell and this is a bit of a dirty job <laughs> so the idea is for all of this to melt away in the water and the scent to attract the fish so this is the lure. And I'm going to take the corn out of here and place it on the hook. So everything has the same smell. And the idea is to lure in big carp. So Let's try it out. Clean my hands off. I should have brought my bigger poles, but we're going to try it with this. So, just going to sling this out there. See what bites. Maybe something, maybe nothing. We got there. And I'm gonna put what's called a little bite indicator. It just goes up and down if something jerks on the line. And I'm gonna set my drag because we're going for big fish here. And something is pulling this. Can't be nothing on it already. think we got a customer oh yeah bite indicator going already but it's probably brim it's 
definitely nothing big. So, I think the brim must like the corn. <laughs> And there be my sweetheart. Yeah, I got something pulling this. So let me check this. Oh, it must be big. Hey, sweetheart, just a moment. some big fish on here. Wow. I don't know. Or it's a log. Good lord. I don't think that's a fish. Can't be. I think I'm hooked on something. I think I got a log. Fish. Full of moss. Yep. Catfish and a big clump of moss. Well. told the catfish that this bait is for carp. Oh. Wow. So, I just threw it out, and this is what I catch. Hello, my darling. You uh, just caught me at the lake. I just, I'm making a video. <laughs> Excuse me, everybody. If you turn on your camera, I'm making a video <laughs> on fishing like they do in Germany and this is what I just caught <laughs> a catfish not a carp can you see it huh? you see the fish yeah, yeah. I just caught that the lion was only out there a couple minutes I just got here so it's not the kind of fish I'm trying to catch but <laughs> <laughs> but it's a big it's a big fish nevertheless So that took about one minute before I caught a nice sized catfish, which I want to catch carp, so I'm going to let this one go. Oh, his fan is caught. Oh man, that's what I hate about catfish. There we go. Going the wrong way, you're going in the grass, you gotta go the other way. That's not the way to go. The lake is the other way. So we're gonna try it again.
Catfish bait turned out to be, well, my carp bait is really catfish bait. Boom! There we have it. Nice size one, too. I guess if you want to catch more catfish, fish like that. So catfish love corn. So let me see if I can pick this up without him fending me. So be nice. So, ugh. all right, calm down, calm down. So this is the catfish off of corn. So not bad. There you go. So my so my carp bait or the things we used to catch carp on in Germany works great for catching catfish on here in the States. There's your tip, people. For those of you, I don't mind catfish. I just hate cleaning them. <laughs> So I usually let them go.
don't know, we got another half hour, hour to fish, so a little chum bucket and some corn on a, and it's a relatively small hook. I wasn't really sure how big of a hook to use. But, uh, it works. Line tangled up on the end, as usual. So, we'll try it again. Here we go. Of course, you don't need no weight on there with that big old chum spring. 